Hi guys, welcome back. So let's start off with the base. I am using my Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I'm obsessed with this primer lately. I just feel like my the base, like my foundation just ends up looking so nice. I don't need as much foundation, it's really weird, but I'm loving this primer. And then to conceal that pigmentation scar on my cheek, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Orange Corrector just to help cover up that dark pigmentation. And then moving on to the eyes, I'm starting my, starting using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Two little swipes is just enough. As you can see, this primer is pigmented. You don't need too much. And I am blending that out with a brush. I found this to be better than using my hand. So I'll probably chill on blending it out with my finger. And then setting that primer potion, I'm using a little translucent powder. It just helps with keeping the eyeshadow smooth and stops it from skipping. So for my first eyeshadow, I'm using the Too Faced to Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, the color Peanut Butter. And I'm putting that in my crease and my upper crease, really blowing that out since we are doing a smoky eye. And I'm going back and forth in windshield wiper motions and circular motions. And then next, I'm using the MAC eyeshadow in brown script. As you can see, it's very loved. <laughs> Tip pan. I love this eyeshadow. It really is a classic. Um, but I'm doing the same thing, going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. I'm going a little bit higher in that crease because like I said, I want everything to be blown out. And I'm taking my MAC 224 and blending out any harsh lines. And next, I'm using the Maybelline Gel Liner in Blackest Black. I'm putting that all over my lid to prep for the black smoky eye this is just a base basically I'm gonna put black eyeshadow on top of this but it, the base allows for it to be extremely pigmented extremely opaque um, and sometimes if you don't use a base it will your skin will peek through so this is a good way to prevent that from happening but I am going back and forth in windshield wiper motions slowly blending out this gel liner. This will take some time because the gel liner is extremely thick. And then I'm taking a little bit of the Coastal Sense Eyeshadow and Chocolatier just to help blend that out. Um, the thing with a black smoky eye, especially if you have my eye shape where you don't have a lot of lid space, you kind of want to bring the smoky eye higher on in the crease. Um, or else all the black eyeshadow gets lost in that tiny little lid and it allows for it to look really blown out. So don't be afraid. If the black goes above the crease, that's fine. The most important thing is just for everything to be blended and there's really no way for your black smoke yet to look bad. <laughs> but you wanna do this in small steps because you can end up looking like a panda. Um, so take your time. And I use some Lorac well, I use my Lorac Pro Palette and I use the color black um, to for my lid to set that gel liner and to further blend out the smoky eye. I'm just making sure they're even and then taking my MAC 224 and blend everything out. So for my base, I'm going back to an oldie but a goodie, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi in Soft Sable. This is my favorite, one of my favorite foundations. Um, so the color is a little bit too rich in the winter time. It's perfect for the summer. My skin isn't really tanned yet, but um, I love this shade for the summer. It matches my tan usually perfectly. And I am stamping that into the skin, getting as, most, as much coverage as I can as possible.
For concealer, I'm going in with the, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in 3.75. This concealer is extremely thick. I used way too much as usual. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you do not need as much as I used. Um, it takes too long to blend out. You really only need one or two swipes, maybe even one. Um, but I do love the color of this concealer. And it is a very good full coverage concealer. So I'm taking my time blending that out. Also this concealer, um, it can create like a pretty starch line between between my foundation and the concealer. So at one point you'll see me going in with my foundation brush that I already used um, to really blend it out and to get rid of any harsh lines on my face. But look how pigmented this concealer is, it's crazy. And you want to make sure you blend in between the eyebrows. This is me going in with that foundation brush. Just blending, blending away. So to set my concealed areas, I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm pressing that into the skin. Like I always say, I do not bake, I don't like how it turns out. Um, I just press it into the skin until it disappears, and I get the best results for me. It stops it from caking up um, and creasing. And I make sure to add a little bit extra powder around my nose and cupid's bow area because that is where I get the oiliest, <clears throat> the fastest, especially in the summertime months. And I let that powder sit for a second and then I wipe it away. And then I'm setting my face with that same RCMA co no color powder. So to bronze, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Dark 3. This bronzer is really red. I guess all my bronzers are red. I just like how that looks, especially in the summer months. This will be really bomb. Um, I'd wear it in the winter too because like I said, I feel like my bronzers are always pretty red. So I do like this bronzer a lot. And then going back into that semi-sweet palette, I'm taking peanut butter again and I'm running that through my bottom waterline. I'm using a bigger brush than usual because I do want this smoky eye to be blown out. And using a bigger brush will, you know, essentially take up more space. The eyeshadow will take up more space. And then I'm going in with that black color from the Lorac Pro Palette, stamping that on my lash line, and then taking a pencil brush and blending that out. And I am trying to bring down that black eyeshadow to further blow out that color and I'm connecting it in the outer corner to the eyeshadow in the crease. And then taking that Maybelline gel liner again and I'm putting that in my waterline as always. And then for contour, I'm using the, the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer. I really love this. Oh, well, of course, I don't use it as a bronzer. I use it as a contour. But I love this color because it is very neutral. Um, it's definitely an ideal shade to contour your nose with. Because lately, I've been noticing my nose contour has been looking a little bit red. So this is a good way to keep it neutral in the center of your face. 
And then for blush, I am using the NYX blush in Double Dare. Just stamping a little bit, a little bit of that on my face, or on my cheeks. <laughs> Then for highlight, I'm using the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Illuminating Powder Jelly in Heat Wave. Look at that, it's so bomb. Um, it was limited edition, I don't know, I haven't heard anything about them making a permanent item, but if you can still get this, I would get it. For lashes, I'm using the Cocoa Lashes in Queen Bee, and then while those eyelashes dry with the glue, I'm taking the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme, adding a little bit of this to my lips. I really feel like it just gives a little extra oomph, a little extra plump. It's the extra stuff you do not need to do, but if you have this product, I would use it. And then I'm contouring my nose using that the Balm Bahama Llama Bronzer, and as you can see, it's really just a good neutral brown. It has no red in it, which is really nice for the nose. Then I'm putting on my lashes, just sitting them in the center of my eye and then placing the inner corners and the outer corners. I like these lashes for this look because they are, the lash is extremely spaced out and long. So you still get to see a lot of that eyeshadow through the lashes. Because sometimes if your lashes are too dense, it covers up all of the eyeshadow, which can be nice if your eyeshadow look ends up being whack. <laughs> but when you like how it looks, I would use a thinner lash. And then to set all of that, I'm using the Urban Decay Chill Cooling and Hydrating Setting Spray. It really just settles all of those powders. And then I'm using a little bit of my MAC Giga Black Mascara for my lower lashes. So moving on to the lips. I'm using my NYX Lip Pencil and Espresso. Slightly lining the lips. Since I am going in with a new lip, I want to make sure I always line my lips. And for me, when I do a black smoky eye, I usually only do a nude lip. Even though I do like a bold eye and a bold lip, but a black smoky eye is just reserved for a nude lip. <laughs> Um, and then for liquid lipstick, I'm using the Lime Crime Velveteen and Buffy. And I bought this from Urban Outfitters about a week ago, and I am obsessed. It's the perfect nude lip. I definitely recommend it for women of color. If you're NC50 or below, it will be bomb. Honestly, if you're NC50 and higher, it would be bomb as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I love how this look turned out. I'm thinking about starting some hair tutorials. Let me know what you guys think. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!